welcome to the third video in our logical operations topic. Today we're going to be looking at masking, clearing registers and encryption. These are fairly straightforward providing you know the truth tables from the first video. Also these are very popular exam questions and it's something that we need to have in the bag for our exam. So let's have a look at the first one and the first one we're going to cover is masking because sometimes it's necessary to discover the value of a bit stored in memory. Now it's important to read the exam question because it will specify how big your register is. So in this example we're using an 8-bit register so we need 8 zeros or 1s on our sheet here. And the exam question will also tell us which bit to find so in this example we're looking for the third most significant bit to be determined. So if you look at our eight bits here in this example, the most significant bit is a one and the least significant bit is a one at the lower end. So the reason the far left bit is the most significant bit is because if you were to draw your numbers above these binary digits, you would get one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and 128, making your most significant bit 128. To find the third most significant bit, we just need to count in from the right three bits in. In order to get a mark, you need to write down that masking uses the AND logical operator. Just by being able to prove that masking uses AND, you'll get a mark. So here's my original data again, 10111011. That little two, it just represents that my number is in base two, which is binary, as you know. And my mask is 00100000. And the reason why there's a one in the third most significant bit is because that is the bit that we are trying to determine. But because the masking process uses the logical operator and, I'm gonna draw my truth table down here just to jog my memory. And all I have to do is and my original data with the mask and that gives me a result of 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and that tells me what the value is of the third most significant bit and that's exactly what I was looking for and that's what masking does. Now we move on to clearing registers and all we need to do here is basically clear the register and set them all to zero and there's two methods of doing this. We can use the AND logical operation or we can use the exclusive or or XOR logical operator and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first one and we have the original data here of 10011001 and if we use the AND logical operator and we create a mask of all zeros. Now if you're familiar with the truth table all we have to do is AND our original data with all zeros and that should return an empty register of all zeros. So that's the first method of clearing registers. Our next one we look at the XOR. So how do we use an XOR operation to clear a register? Well I'm going to use the original data again and all I need to do this time is XOR the original data with a mask containing exactly the same data. So then once I've done that I can XOR all the data and you'll notice that I return all zeros. And if you have a look at the truth table, you can see why. Because both registers are the same, I get all zeros. So remember the key to this one is to XOR the original data with itself. So now we've looked at clearing registers, the final thing we're gonna look at is encryption. Now you may have heard of encryption before and it's a very popular term, but what does it actually do? And what do we use it for? Well, we convert data into ciphertext that can not easily be understood without a decryption key. So people can intercept our messages, but they'd never be able to read what we've actually put. And we encrypt data using the XOR logical operator. Now this is a very, very popular exam question because it can show a few different steps. We can show encrypting the data using a key, then we can show decrypting data using the same key. So if you look at my original data I've got here, I've got 10101010, very creative original data. Now I've made up a key which is 11010001 
And all you have to do is remember what your XOR truth table is again. And you XOR the original data with the key. And that will produce some ciphertext. And the ciphertext reads 01111011. And that is secret text that no one else will be able to look at unless they have the encryption key. So usually the exam questions will ask you to convert the ciphertext back into the original data. And to do this, all we need to do is use the key and XOR this with the ciphertext to produce the original data again. So you can see from my example there, what I've done is a step-by-step -step process to encrypting and decrypting. So what we've covered in this video is masking to find a specific bit or number of bits. We've looked at clearing registers and we've looked at the encryption of data. In the next video, we will be looking at applying everything we've learned so far to simplify Boolean expressions for our A-level exam. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.